going over a little detail about how to not lose when somebody's escaping your background, okay? So whatever side you, you know, have your seatbelt on, I like to grab it this way, um, is usually people, they may fall on the under, they may fall on the overhook. I like to fall on the underhook, but I also do a lot of stuff falling on the overhook. So it doesn't really matter. We did a conceptual video a while back of just escaping the back mount, where you kind of use distribution of weight, be heavy so they can't come up to mount. Well, we got some details on how to come up to mount that, you know, might beat those other details. And that's the name of the game that we play. Okay, so Michael picks a side, he falls to it, right? And right here, this is good. He start like this, this leg, he's starting to control it, right? I'm like, mm, if I wanted to come up to mount right now, it would be difficult, right? Got my arm here and some other things. So, and he can worsen my situation by turning his hips straight to the ceiling and kind of bridging back, right? This is not good for him, okay? But we got some details, okay? So here, I'm going to go one, I'm going to go two, and I need to get this hand out, because I want it to be over here. Now if he falls on the other side, we'll show one of those, it'll automatically be out, okay? Now, what I do is, I, if I start coming up here, he, I won't have as good a connection. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show an example of this. Really fight this leg, like use both hands. Okay, he, he got his hips out. Man, right? So what can we do to stop him? Here, we've gotta look up. Start pushing. And I'm pinning his arm to his body, which is essentially a gift wrap. And it's a really dominant way to mount somebody. Even if you don't work over and get the gift wrap, I, I just like, I want to get my chest behind your back. I'll do this if I'm hitting you and stuff. It's on a uh, different uh, choke I use, things like that. But mostly, I don't, I don't really pull and stuff on this. It's times when I go here and take your back with this gift wrap, I really like this kind of here, here. And then I'll be trying to rear mount you and tap you with that rear mount position, right? And I, I'm not gonna grab your hand when I do that one. Only when I take your back, hit you, do a couple other submissions, okay? So, back here, I have my under here. This time, he's gonna fall this side. Boom, he kind of bridges, gets his hips up here. Boom, right? Now remember, if you don't look up, it's not gonna be as strong. Just like when you hold side mount. If you look up, it bows your chest out, so it's strong, okay? So here, looking up, he's pushing as hard as he can, and that pushing is what gets him pinned in that situation. I'm patient here, because I've already got a hook, and he can't turn into me. Let's turn a little bit to face the camera. He can't turn into me, right? So here, because he can't turn into me because my chest is on his shoulder, he, I'm just waiting, a very patient game, to try and get him to turn away, okay? So try and turn into me. It's not, it's not easy and I will adjust and stay there and fight this battle. And, to, and a lot of people, if you don't play, if they don't have people that rear mount them, they will turn away first. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just, you, when you get people here, they feel like, oh, I, I can't go that way. So he does that and then this is a bad situation to be in. Okay. We got some videos on breaking down the rear mount and stuff. So that is um, just a real interesting transition. I remember when I learned that, it blew my mind. So hopefully you can use that. What I like about it when you try it, you have that person on bottom, use both hands, frame and hip. If they get their hips out, Keep working on it. Be sure you have their collar. You can grab their head if it's no gi. Be sure you have that elbow out and you're looking up. And just unwind. Come up on the, into the mount. Thanks, guys.